Okay, so I think we're ready to go to try to do some weekly RBR. So I'm going to go ahead and create it as Purple ID. See how things go from there. So we, up first, we have a sweep up Operation 2, which is predominantly caves. We'll let people tri trickle in. Unfortunately, I'm on a new PC, so everything might be a little off for a little bit. The highest enemy count for this quest is 46 evil sharks. So for me, I mean, that's going to be potentially like your vices or your jayas. Got to make a Wario character now? That's up to chat. That is purely up to chat, but welcome remote battery. <laughs> He's got the important thing on, V801. <laughs> everything else, optional. Yeah, we're in block two. Do I need anything? I guess I'll take his three seals out. Your paralysis. Probably good enough. Oh, he already had one. And how many three seals does he have? Put that one away if I don't need it. So technically, depending on whether I'm running multiplayer or not, I can switch it to congeal flow. Character is meant to do a lot of lilies. Don't think he has RBR command set up. I'm just gonna briefly flash them across the top. We sweep up Operation 2, Penumbral Surge 3, and then we have uh, War of Limits 2, I think. Look at that, chat. I remembered something. Yeah, I think for our RBRs going forward, I'll try to have the quest information open. I just- I think for this one, it doesn't matter as much. Honestly, it's just kind of like, there's only a couple of key enemies that are worth paying attention to. Some other quests are a bit more complicated. We'll just do one of each, and then we'll see where we want to go from there. The last call for people that want to join in the game, and we'll get started. I got my cure paralysis on, got technique, and then HP, V8 to 1. I should probably be fine in most scenarios. Rappy Mag for MST. Double check I have my triad fluids, I do support everything. Okay. No taker. It's fine. Let's see. Technically, there are a lot of slimes in the quest, potentially. There's 12, you can multiply them. Uh, by four, so you can end up with 48 total slime. But I feel like they're probably in bad positions to split. Let's take a look. Okay, we're gonna be testing some new layouts for sure. What? Something is not correct. Uh, I have determined what is wrong with my button setup. Give me one second, chat. I flipped the six and the eight, I think. We're just breaking in a new PC with this, so pardon for the occasional pause. Just want to make sure this is the button that I want. Okay, right, there we go. All fixed. Yeah, we'll probably do some minute adjustments. Probably across the evening. I'm just looking to see how things kind of fit right now. I might just try to debuff them just so I see how it looks. Kind of right. This one's on drawing.
split. Okay. So sadly, though, when it comes to Lilies. Oh, okay, my bad, my bad. Misunderstood what you meant by split. I'll go back. Give you a parting bow. having fun in this room. I'm just gonna go ahead and get Bowie's tag. Now I'm gonna lock down the room with Rubardo to make him feel like a little easier. Search series, except for number five. Five is the only one that I don't like. We've learned from testing earlier. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother trying to out damage the Povar with ATP. Ron, dude. That one was just kind of booty, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we'll probably stretch the enemy health bars out a little bit. Today. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be breaking it in, I think, a little bit throughout the stream. So I think right now, between sessions, I want to pump up the enemy bars. It's technically in the right position, and I can read it, but it looks a little weird, shrunken. Not that it doesn't work, I just don't like how it looks aesthetically. Barrier. I don't know where that blue warp goes. It has been a very long time since I've done the Sweet Hope series. But at least I could look for items that were back here. Like I see there's a power material. By the way, Chan, how's the microphone sounding? A little better today, or about the same from when I first switched it over? Please. It does feel a little sad playing without Adept, I'm not gonna lie. I miss it. I miss it already. About the same. Hoping it sounded a little deeper. Especially compared to the first day. It sounds okay, that's fine. Just wanted to make sure, because we were having some quality issues earlier. Not sure why. I think it's just how the PC renders it. 
Nothing has changed physically on my setup. Other than the computer itself. That is such a rude spawn. Hey, can I not debuff them on this hole? Oh, this is being weird. Drug. Slime dupes aren't too terrible. I guess you wanted uh, Lapis Cannon Red ID here. Still not ideal. I'll switch to a slightly better character in the next area. Well, this character is so fun to play in single player because it's kind of okay. Out, uh, ATP. Unlock the loop. The quest was fine. Like, I guess if people are looking for, you know, very basic rares, it's not terrible, but not something I'll personally run a lot just because the caves drops are kind of. Mediocre. It's not an issue with the quest, though. Let's move on to Penumbra Surge. Which I should probably bring in Pink ID. What I'll do is I'll bring in a Pink ID Force. We'll see how much money the quest gives. We'll confirm in real time. Yeah, I like the idea of splitting there. It was nice. Not all quests allow that. Switch to Fomarl. Should be able to use a lot of Slicer Fanatic stuff. Beg it if I'm really desperate. I wonder if this is the one where we're doing laps. It might be. This is the Penumbral Surge uh, usually splits the groups into two different teams. But there's a couple of them that don't do that. This week we're enemy week. I didn't even parse that the first time we were in the quest. It's so between Rambling May, Slicer Fanatic, Disco Brave Man. I should probably be fine. Out of Smart Link V801 V101. What a combo with Ren Ray. This character is going to be doing some big damage. We'll give everybody about a moment to join. In a minute, I mean. Parameter. I feel like in a form of protest, some of my PSO videos are just gonna have like five minutes of teching. <laughs> to be real with you, chat, I'm still salty. I want you to know, chat, I'm I'm still not happy about it. Every time I see it brought up in general chat, in the Discord, which I don't check super often, I just feel very sad.
you know, give chat an example. So, I mean, this is me with the equalizer on that I'm testing. This is me without the equalizer on. I think it sounds a little better with the equalizer. Yeah, I might have to look into a slightly different replacement for later. Oh. I'm assuming a parameter crashed or something. Never mind, switching into a different character. That's fair. Hold on, I'm feeling doubt. Renewable Surge 3? 3. So this one has a lot of givens. Like, a lot, a lot of givens. It also has 102 geese, so it has um, 76 old gibbons and 102 geese. But if you're playing White ID in particular, White ID has three different sources of Disco Brave Man. Ew. Oh, yeah, you can talk about the color filters. That's fair. If I go to the team, or no, if I go to. I forgot how she told me to do that. Let's forward. Turn off. There we go. Alright, just making sure the, the color filter was off. It's a neat idea, but I don't feel like playing in the dark. Be real with you. for a while, I might as well just sneak in. Big explosion sound effect. What the fuck is that? Oh, wow, good fuck 29. Okay. Yeah, I like the idea that, you know, there's <coughs> potentially longer rooms to deal with. People can potentially split further in the room if they need to. I'm just gonna get rid of the annoying sack monster things. Oh, so that's what advanced effect looks like. Up close, they get a little shimmer. It's kind of neat. Normally, it's a bit more static when I play. the wall of death approaching every enemy. <clears throat> Is the intent actually to full split clear? I wasn't sure if from the standpoint of items if each player would get something or not. I was curious about this, like if they linked items. Just 
strength's 22, disappointing. Yeah. I know, like, in theory, we could have split up, but at the same time, it's like... Unlike some of the other quests, I'm not sure we would get... I don't think we would share items across the areas. Maybe I'm wrong. I say, that feeling when you just don't care and decide to make it up in the face anyway, and it works. What a good feeling. For people looking for a ton of Disco Brave Man, just due to the number of keys alone, it's kind of insane, plus Marillas. The Wet Eddie is pretty solid for them. dying so fast I'm getting like one attack before they explode. It's kind of funny. Team just too strong. sure though. Yeah, so from this pink IC standpoint, we're just looking for the Gibbons. Everything else is just kind of an extra. We happen to get something to sell, it's nice. That is a very funny spawn, I'm not gonna lie. Giant murder flower, like, surprise! Get a witch. Out of our way. All that for the switch. Kind of funny. Sadly, because it's rare enemy, we don't have any super good bonuses here. I think the other quest also is kind of bad for rare. I think, honestly, I think everything is for Lily in caves. It's kind of just a bad, bad RVR selection for bonuses. Damn. RNG fail.
say, I'm feeling kind of unlucky. I'm not even landing demons today so far. Unfortunate. At least I killed a couple. Demon actually landed that time. I love that my non SN glitch stuff is hitting more often than my SN glitch. This sad. I think we're all done here. Let's we'll go to the next area. There we go. Finally landed on an important target other than when it's already dead. Just, I just love that the healing circles here is just kind of like the interval. Honestly, for number of search, probably my favorite series of quests. Minus number five, which is terrible. I hate it. Two. It's not even like. It's not even the enemy counts, it's just the, like, oops, all Del Beaters every hallway. It's just really annoying. The level of design itself was okay. There's a lot of demonable targets. Much hell. I did it, yay! Well, actually, landed that demons immediately. That's a good, good buffer. for me. I love that they even put a healing circle here too. Wow, they really want to make sure you have enough traps. How generous. Oh, I don't think I like how that graphic looks when they're frozen. That looks really weird. There we go. ATP'd that thing down with demons. to wait a little bit so that way I don't cause them to become untargetable. Episode 2 core. Normally I would think the buffering for frame 1 hits would be amazing, but not on those mini bosses. Sadly. Launcher. 
need to go back and see the recommendations on a Baran's launcher with the Sphere. I should probably Sphere one at some point. Play Ranger enough, I think it would be useful. Was a nasty daylight scarring. We winning me over a little more on daylight scar watching that. Is he on most spread on weapons? You just depends where you use it. Mm. There we go. I'd <laughs> faith he'd be frozen for that third hit. Oh, there were two behind me. Not gonna lie, I thought they were, I thought they were items at first. Doing well, hopefully. I think I remember making the comment before some of the rooms are a bit more awkward to slice in because of these random objects. And when it works, it works. Just about to get food, nice, nice. Just went ham on him. <laughs> Poor Sinnoh Barrel. He's like, I'm the lone guardian of the warp. I'll surely. Ah! Nice, nice. Glad you finished up some mags. Ooh, nice demon. And yeah, now, now I get to play the game. If I could just demon everything, we're good. If it's just a lot of geese, that's that's not my forte. I'm like Rangers. Go deal with those. <laughs> I love just, just due, due to the raw access priest traps, how nice this is with multiple casts. I cannot understate how much I enjoy this B series. This has turned my opinion around slightly on episode 2. I don't think my late game opinion has changed. But I was playing some mm, 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 questionable episode 2 quests. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was mentioning earlier, Dango. Yeah, see, like, I play quests like those, but I'm like, these quests are just really not fun, even with things like Twin Blaze. I really don't enjoy these. And then there's quests like this, where, you know, it's just, like, a lot of... A lot of mini waves, so it's, like, easier to crowd control, but there's just a raw high number of enemies. Where I feel like... It's an interesting mix of Hunter actually being able to do things in the quest, because there's like a, a good amount of time spawns will be in the same room. Like they could still do slicer stuff here with the challenge mode weapon. I just like the... I, I like that most of the mini bosses you usually have a lot of setup time to deal with. Like that Gibbles, even if I'm not in the perfect position, I could just deal with him. I don't have to worry about like nonsense like full screen gibbles or whatever behind like walls of enemies. Hero freeze trap. Going back for the grinders, don't mind me.
See, look at that. Look how perfect that is. You're out of freeze traps, and look what's here to greet you for the freeze traps. Love this quest. Like, all, all it really needs is, like, just a little boost from, like, RBR. I think this is, again, one of those quest series where, like, I don't know if I would run it necessarily outside of RBR if I'm hunting a specific item, but from the standpoint of, like, if it's an RBR, I would play it. There's some where I'm like, maybe if I'm really desperate for something, I'll go for it, but most of the time it doesn't matter. Feeling when all the specials whiff. There we go, some of that one. <laughs> the casual 1700 damage still. Doesn't help being rare monster weak. Yeah, that's. Yeah, we were talking about that before. That is really unfortunate. Like, I still think with 25% it's fine. Like, it's playing almost like you're doing, like, a, a weekly bonus with just, like, a little bit of extra. I forget where it wants us to go. It's over here. to just my uh, enemy reader a little bit. dealing with you. Ooh. Ooh, triple demons. Damn, that was kind of lucky. I'm not going to lie. Just, just SSS and land all, all demons. That's a FOMO. Totally, totally should be within expectations to do every time. advanced special effect blur on the robots. I love there's even a, a healing circle over here. This is crazy. They really want to make sure you don't run out of traps. They're like, listen. Like, thou, thou shall have traps if you, may, if you need it. I'm gonna stun them. About time. So many Gaigwees. The Gaigwee army has descended. That'd be a photon drop, though. to the 1700 crit.
60 minutes of the normal. Nasty. That is a lot of Sinnohs. Might as well as lure them as a demon repeatedly. That should be just be GG. Yeah, fun quests, good XP. No, it just it just needs a little HBR bump and it's fine. Even boxes over here. In fact, there's a lot of boxes over here. Look how many of look how many there are. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one boxes. Casual PDs and Stormwand over here. Don't mind me. All that just to go to this exit. Interesting. Yeah. I like the quest. I don't think my opinion has changed since we tried it that one week. Oh, yeah, four is the lapse, exactly. I was like, I couldn't remember where we were doing it, because I, I would agree it was central control area we did the lapse. I like the temple one as well, where the teams kind of meet up in the middle of temple and keep crossing paths. I think that's one of the coolest quest designs I've seen, in terms of just layout, where the different teams could potentially buff each other to keep going. A lot of fun. Meanwhile, five. <laughs> like, uh, like the design philosophy was delve her every hallway, be annoying as possible. Yeah, so I definitely, I think, like, with the exception of five, I even enjoyed Penumbral Search Six. This tower, I think. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of like literally. Every two hallways was a Delveter. It just got kind of annoying. I think we had a joke of whether or not the hallway would have a Delveter, and more often than not, it, it always had the Delveter. <laughs> it was kind of painful. Alright, so I'm gonna switch to... I guess Hunter is okay for this? I could, in theory, play Red ID Force if we really need it, but I'd rather bring some ATP to Episode 4. One force is probably good enough. I think I gotta stop here, says Murphy, no problem. I was thinking red ID for this one. Unless you wanted something in RN specifically. Let's talk about briefly the merits of each of them. So from the standpoint of the most common enemy, there's gonna be Zabudas and Satellite Lizards. Satellite Lizards would give, um, I think it's... Lister Fanatics. Yeah, which is pretty good. It has some off rares, which are okay for Auron. But generally speaking, there's not like <clears throat> there's not a ton of zoos or Dwarfons, so you don't really benefit from it as much. Orange has Vito 1, exactly. Red ID gets a combination of small cannon rouge chance. Lots of Disco Brave Man. I guess in theory I could play Orange. I don't mind mixing it up a little. The sad thing is my only Orange is a, uh, horse. Let me switch over. I have to think about which bank they were in. Yeah, I'm fine with either. I like the hint of Cannon Rouge with just a, a Brave Man on Red ID, since there are an okay-ish amount of Babudas. Not enough to make it a main hunt, but just kind of like a side item kind of deal. Yeah, I think with Murphy going, I just want to make sure we have the Force, though. That changed my mind. I'll go ahead and make the game. Oh, 
probably stick to Fire Scepter. I love it put on Heavenly TP because I just wanted to use it as a joke. I just wanted to hit over 3,000 TP in solo play because I thought it was funny. Yeah, Heavenly TP, what a waste. Let's go put on something actually useful. Oh, my add-ups are on other characters. That's kind of annoying. Am I really gonna have to do that? Note to self, get more add-ups. I just want like one of force. But not even for all. Like I can have like two floaters. Sadly I'm gonna have to do that. Unless I want a god technique good. Yeah, generally speaking, I've been having a lot of fun with uh, Hunter in Episode 4, surprisingly. I think it's just the ability to just use traps. I really just like it in Episode 4 in general. Let me bring in something to do. We should have a free slot since Murphy is gone. If anybody wants to hop in, you're more than welcome to join. Oof, I oh, have yeah, a Spear God technique. I thought I had one on this character. Maybe I put it in my shirt bag? Fortunate. Take a double technique. What are we doing? We're wrapping up RBR. Hope you know well from Ethan. <laughs> I forgot she could technically. She could technically use Red Ring. Do I want to do that? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Let's all do Gafoe slash Rafoe. Got a Fire Scepter, which is fine. Got a Heavenly TP. Let's just get double technique to maximize damage. Didn't need that much. Jump in if you want before I switch. Yeah, we're doing War of Limits 2 specifically. Just showcasing, it's a good, uh, Satellite Lizard quest. I would say the only downside of the word limit quests tend to be very walk-heavy, just not my preference. So I would say they're kind of on the weaker end. Like, I'll play them on occasion, but I'm not gonna, like, hard grind them. Welcome, hopefully, to the game. In theory, if we're doing rare enemy after this, this character's fine for episode 4 balls. Although I always confuse what yellow ID and orange ID get there, so before I say anything, let me double check. Other than I know I enjoy doing boss runs with these characters. Name to Argent, nice. Yellow is DLS, thank you. And frame myself to play when cookies aren't dropping. Sorry, Promethean. We did burn out of most of the cookies though, Promethean. You would be very happy. If we got down to four or something. Her victim of event brain rot. I mean, to be honest, I'm mostly only playing today just to test the setup again with the PC. Hopefully things sound okay. I don't need this to be super complicated. The Foley up. The Barda up. That should be fine. I'm recovering victim. I uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. We're gonna have a we're gonna have the realists of real talk. I was more in the mood to play PSO before the tech changes. I think what really pissed me off, chat, like real, 100%, I definitely quit playing for several days because of it. Was sitting there playing green ID, getting extra handguns from Lost Heat Dragon or whatever it is, the Lost Heat Sword, and then realizing that the character has a 5% chance of identifying it, 
And like every single one of them, like I would get like maybe one a run. And I would go to identify them. And it would take like two and a half to three minutes, not an exaggeration, due to his 5% identification rate. I was very, very upset. I believe it was 36 attempts at one point, just to tech it up 10%. What a waste of time. Though honestly, I don't even know if I want to hunt weapons anymore. I just don't feel like spending two and a half minutes every item. And all I read are people in like the, the Discord in general, they're like, oh, it's not that bad. I'm like, how many weapons have you identified post changes? I, I want you to check yourself real quick before you comment and make a fool of yourself. I really do. That applies to the more the Affinia Discord specifically. Like, literally, I would see, like, this long, like, entitled opinion that it's not that bad. And then, like, literally in the same breath, they're like, oh, yeah, I haven't really identified weapons. I'm like, that's where the main change is. <laughs> it's the whole point. Stupid. Very chat. When I see opinions like that, it actually makes me upset. It's just one of those things where it's just honestly... I don't know what they were thinking. In a world where we have fast quest loads and reduced loading screen times in general and fast warps and everything else, they're like, let's put teching back to normal. Mind boggling. So I would be more inclined to hunt like units and armor maybe where I don't have to deal with the horrible tech changes. But just going for generic rares at the moment, like, I don't know, picking up flowing swords or zombas. Just, I don't know. Or especially just get Brave Man for new players. I'm like, that that time is that time is fast. I don't think I'll ever do it again while well, they're still like that. So it's like I'm like really unexcited to do Jaya runs and everything else. I'm like, I really just don't want to spend the time to identify for newer players. Sorry. I want to help you out, but if it's starting to cost upwards of two minutes per item, potentially I could end up with like three to five of a very common drop, where it's not necessarily an upgrade for me, it's literally just to get people started. If you're 30, you're 35, just get Brave Man. Not really hard numbers to achieve, I would say, in a run. You do them like, I don't know, like four or five runs in a row. It just doesn't feel like it's worth the time to identify anymore. I just find it crazy that the overall time to identify one weapon and tech it up is the equivalency of me teching like six to seven items before the change. So, if I do find those things, maybe I'll hand them out unteched, but I have no interest in spending time on an item I never intend to use, that's for sure. And I wrote as much basically on the Affinia post. What happened to teching? Uh, they decided that instead of leaving it at 40 to 55%, which is an estimate because I don't think those numbers were ever formally told anywhere to my knowledge, uh, they decided that they want to implement the way Vanilla implements it. The way Vanilla impl implements it is really stupid. I want to just emphasize how bad it is. So unless you're like Sky ID or maybe Red ID as an example, you're gonna have somewhere between 5 to 10% chance of identifying an item. So you're just repeatedly over and over grinding that 10% chance. I think I did the odds the other day, Chad. I think it was... We're identifying the red handgun, which is nobody's preferred weapon, on the worst... On the worst one, aka the ID that gets it, like the green ID, it would take... I would say in in 20 attempts, there's a 34% chance I won't get it <laughs> in, in 20 attempts of identification. I did the math once. I'm not great with probability, but I believe that is true, because it's a 1 in 20 for 20 rolls. Like a 34.6% chance or something. Yeah, so if you combine that with any time you need to up tech a special, the the odds of it are atrocious. 
No. Some people were saying they got it in 10, and I went, good for you, you're the statistical anomaly. I hate anecdotal evidence like that. Like, just look at how how terrible the odds are. So there's already, a, in 20 attempts, it's only about a 34% chance. So then combine in with a, basically, I think it's 20%? I don't have the number right in front of me at the moment. Uh, to upgrade the special. And uh, yeah, we, we got over 80 something attempts every single item tested when trying to do both. So not a fan. That made me not really want to play PSO. I thought about if I wanted to tech as a joke because I don't think people understand how bad it is compared to just like three weeks ago. But it's it was a choice. That's for sure. Ah. Oh, I'm the wrong menu for some reason. Also. He come in if I were doing a joke video. I mean, on stream, we identified an item. It took 26 attempts. And that was with, uh, not the low one. That was with the 13%, I think. That was, like, the best in-case scenario. Oh, like, that was, like, I didn't even have to, like, redo anything. It just was that bad. Yeah, getting sub-10 is, like, amazing. If somebody wants to pop in a calculator for this, uh, the odds. What the heck is this? I'm skipping the intro. Oh, is this, like, a show, not a game? Come on, let's go to the game. I didn't realize there was a Bomber Van show. Today I learned. I guess the game was named after the show, and I found the wrong one by accident. I was like, those vocals are more what I'm concerned about. I don't want to get copyrighted just because random vocals are playing. It's it's pretty bad. I I saw people saying they were okay with it. I don't think I saw people outright saying they liked it. Which to some extent is fair because it is a nerf. I don't think I'm opposed to the concept of like different IDs having different identification rates. And they might get a stronger bonus to preferences. But if they're gonna use like a preference table. I would actually prefer it just has all the items on it, so that way it's like... If you're the one doing the hunt, you have a good chance of identifying it, kind of thing. And the base rate should be way higher. Like, 40% is like, whatever, they don't have to go back up that high. But I, I don't think anybody should have lower than 20, to be real with you. And that's that's assuming the most unfavorable combination possible. Oh, just casual V to 1. Uh, <clears throat> There's only like 11 zoos in this quest for some reason, by the way, Chan. I guess that works. It doesn't placate my annoyance at all. Yeah, I thought about if I wanted to end each stream by just teching. That way people could just remember <laughs> how bad it is. But I will probably, at least at minimum, always reference it in my stream titles. That's my form of protest chat. Yeah, it's kind of crazy, because, like, if you look at the item list, like, you know, the section ID, the commons... You know, match your ID, and I think that's fair and fine. I just don't think I agree with 
the fact that there's, like, so many ri missing rare items on the list, too. So, like, Disco Brave Man is only on one section ID for identifying, and I'm like, there's more than one ID that does even things like Disco Brave Man. Like, I'm not even talking just, like, obscure items. Like, just really basic ones just aren't there. That's like, why? Like, congratulations, Vanilla Server never updated it for whatever reason on, uh, Episode 4 items and, like, half of the rearranged drop table that exists in Infinia. Congratulations, this experience is terrible. It's like... Nice, we're just fishing for an enemy. So the team gets a little closer, let's pump them up. Is a good draw. It would have been pretty funny if it was like a dwarf on a clear, though. I'm not gonna lie. Well, speaking of which, I should not do that. I should break that habit. I know that the dive bomber. Discovered where the door pods in the quest are. Oh, did the music pause already? Oh, wait, that was the whole soundtrack? Annihilated the enemy. Well, that was short. Um. Oh no, Bomberman X Zero is on the list. That is going to be an experience, I'm sure. Yeah, War and Limits is just kind of okay. I think we talked about it before. Yeah, it's like, they're, they're, they're okay. It's not one I'll typically grind. It's one I'll do like, oh, it's an RBR. I'll do it once, if that makes sense. We'll, we'll do it literally once, and that's it. Yeah, it has the- I think it is the highest lizard count of all the quests, if I recall correctly. No, that's- that's literally it, so it's not really difficult. There's not a lot of zoos or astarks, so it's- it doesn't have, like, a little- a good ID variety, sadly. Yeah, I would agree. There's not too many, like, hard farms, so... Probably fun to use this. Yeah, just picked up another V801 randomly. Sure. <laughs> I love we went there for Slicer Fanatic, no one got one. That's something. Hey. Okay. You could leave Devil Technique on her, it's fine. More hoop wheat. We'll see if the next series of runs will help hoop wheat balance out. So I guess I guess we'll give some parting thoughts on the RBR for this week. It's okay. I, I as, again, aside from Penumbra Surge, most of these are like unless I'm really focusing on a specific item, I'm not gonna run them for fun. Like they're just they're okay. Maybe for some players they make sense, or if you're playing on very hard mode, like getting that many lizards might be good on like very hard mode, for example. But from where I'm standing, I don't think I need anything from it. Yes, three is great, and sweep up two is good. Yeah, I like that sweep up two had the split path. That definitely put it above most of the normal quests there. Yeah, that's kind of the problem with War Limits. It's a lot of walking, and I wish they just kind of condensed the enemy spawns a bit more. And it's just kind of like, there's not a lot of stacking that you could do. It's not really great for hunters, per se. Kind of, eh. So we'll, we'll leave it there. Ludana questioning what's going on. 
More than anything, I wish the swans were engaging. Yeah. I think that's the problem when it's all lizards and Buddhas. They're not going to be difficult. But for high-end players, there's not really much to do. You just delete them. But anyway, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to you two for this segment. If you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. And I guess see you in the next part.